everybody! Welcome back! I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you all for coming to hang out with me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, friends, where we're going to celebrate 59,000 subscribers. My goodness me! Thank you, everybody, for coming to hang out. Thank you, everybody, for all your subscriptions lately. It has been absolutely awesome. Welcome back, everybody! Thank you very, very much for coming to hang out, friends. Really, really do appreciate it. I've got the GA! set up for you guys today we've got the uh sr22 setup so we've got mixture and then we've got our uh it's there's really only one throttle but i didn't want to unbind so we're going to use two so um welcome everybody schmitty mopar dude chris arthur uh aviation david yo boy kweku um jackson oc luca ben uh nm thank you very much for your support uh mr pro aviation aviation spotter gdn david jacobus devon Bragg, Jackson, OC Comet. Thank you, guys. Mr. Baldo, how are you, sir? Thank you very much for your support as well, man. Really, really do appreciate you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, Travis, what's up, man? <laughs> you can hear everybody already. Everybody's already around and having fun. Guys, if you don't want know already and you want to join, uh, you can join. All you have to do is join the North American server. North American server. The weather's not looking like it's going to be very VFR for us today, will it be, friends? So, uh, this should be interesting. Should be pretty funny to see where we're going. Uh, we are not on the Pilot Edge network. There's a few things that I need to do here. Um, bear with me for two seconds. Let me just, um, uh, let me just fix that here real quick. Let me fix, uh, good old this. We are offline. Well, I guess... We're not offline, but I guess we'll be offline. Um, okay, that's good. There we go. We'll update that. Sweet. There we go. Cool. Um, <laughs> can already hear everybody. That's so awesome. Uh, progress bar needs to be updated. There we go. Sweet. All right, friends. So, yes, as the title suggests, we're on the ground in Aspen. We're in the beautiful SR-22. We've got a whole whack of people. Oh, there it is. I knew a 747 was going to make his appearance before uh, before I knew it. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator Multiplayer. Schmitty, <laughs> this may be your first time experiencing Microsoft Flight Simulator Multiplayer. Um, welcome, my friend. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Let the madness ensue. Just wait, Schmitty. It's going to get a lot better than this. Trust me. Um, so, friends, yes, welcome. I like to do these every once in a while. I think it's important to give back to the community that gives so much to me. I know that you guys love these these little uh, these fly-ins, whatever we do, where we just have fun, we let loose, we go crazy. I know you guys love doing this stuff, so um, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun, guys. Very much looking forward to it. A um, couple things that I need to do here very quickly. I do need to set up, I don't have my mixture control, so I'm going to uh, set up my Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and I need to search for mixture. Um, so I want mixture axis, uh, probably... Mixture axis one. I probably want it that one. And we're going to go start scanning. And uh, the throttle already exists somewhere. Do you want to bind it anyway? Uh, yes, because of what I have it set up for right now is I have it set up for uh, engine number four. So let me go ahead and set that quickly here. So we're going to go engine thrust or hmm, what's it going to be? Uh, throttle axis four throttle um axis four and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clear that one out for now validate okay cool sweet now we'll go and apply and save that okay now theoretically what we just did is we just changed this lever from throttle number four to our mixture lever which is what we're gonna need today for the sr22 so sweet cool now that that's all done let the madness begin. How is everybody doing today? I see everybody is surrounding. Yes, yes. Okay, we've got the Beechcraft. We've got the Baron. Oh, hello, everybody. We've got everybody here. Nice. We've got a TBM FedEx. Look at this guy in his gold livery. Okay, all right. Sweet. Well done. For those of you that want to join, remember we are on the North American server. North American server. We've got a 787 doing some... Uh... No, that's the fly-by-wire A3... Uh, A320, okay, doing some acrobatic stuff over there. All right, sweet. Um, so, friends, as the title suggests, we're doing a flight today. We're going from um, 
Aspen to Telluride, and then from Telluride over back to Aspen. Should be a lot of fun. Definitely looking forward to it. I don't know what the weather is suggesting here today. Um, the weather looks pretty gnarly, my friends. Um, so hopefully when Nightbot gets in here, if Nightbot's not in here, Nightbot is here, sweet. Um, Nightbot, can you give me a Metar for Aspen, please? Uh, let's grab that real quickly. Let's see what, what the Metar's, Metar is looking like in Aspen. Um, east or West? Uh, we are on the East. East USA. Very cool. Glad you're able to continue with your flight school. Uh, I've been well, thanks. Okay, you're talking to somebody else. Like, wait, what? Uh, okay, I'm going to save that one. What is the Metar here? What did it give us? Uh, winds are 330, 18 gusting, 39. Are you serious? Broken at 8,500. Jesus, man. Wow, okay. That's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, all right, sweet. Here we go, friends. Inside the cockpit of the beautiful SR-22. Absolutely love this little plane, to be honest with you. Um, sweet little plane. Um, now, does my battery switches work? Oh, the battery switches do work, as well as the avionics. So we're going to use everything on... We're going to use everything up here on our thing. As well, today, um, I'm not going to be showcasing it because I, I want to be able to use it here um, for the first couple times without without breaking anything or doing anything. So um, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to get... Well, we won't turn that on quite yet. Um, I guess I should have started the engine before I did any of this stuff, right? So um, mixture. Okay, my mixture is looking like it's working. That, that lever looks like it works, except we do need to switch it. We need to um, do one quick little thing here. Um, search by name, mixture, axis, there it is. And we need to reverse the axis, which is very common. Apply, go back, resume. Wonderful. Now it should be. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That makes me so happy. Sweet. All right, so we've got the mixture uh, bound now to the honeycomb throttles. Again, there's our throttles. I'm um, trying to replicate using the GA handles today. So, uh, just, you know, again, a little bit of something different. Um, cool. So, um, first things first, we're going to go full rich and we're going to crack the throttles here. Uh, fuel, I mean, I think we have enough fuel. We should be good. I think we're sitting at like 50% fuel. Yeah, we are. So we should be fine on that. So um, let's go ahead and does the... Oh, this works too, dude? Wow, that's pretty cool. The thing works on the on the honeycomb, on the honeycomb yoke. All those buttons just worked. Do these all work? Beacon? Beacon? Nav? Strobe? Land? Taxi? They all work. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna get our ice protection on. Um. Why isn't this guy lighting up though? Do I need to do something? Oh, there we go. I need to cycle it. Pedo heat off. I could have sworn we had it on. Okay, no, there we go. Pedo heat on. All right, sweet. So, we got a good engine. Our G1000 is, is programming up here. Doing its thing. Um... Press the soft key to continue. There we go. Cool. All right. So um, what we want to do now, friends, is we're just going to take a direct to and we're going to go direct to um, Telluride. So we're going to go ahead and put KTEX. K. Tex. Everybody should be doing this right now if you're flying with me. Just so we don't. The only reason we're doing this is that if we do get stuck in clouds, at least we have a, a direct to. Uh, we could have done it while we got airborne, but I figured it would just be a little bit better if we did it now. That way I can uh, follow the line. K text tell you ride. We're gonna enter that. Uh, we're gonna go enter, activate. Yes, yes. There we go. There's our white line. Sweet. Cool. We've got all that. Good. Where are you guys? Schmidty will be proud. At that. Sweet. Did you see how I just handled that G1000? Yep. No problem. Got you. Um. Shit. Where's the park brake in this thing? Uh oh. Do you guys remember where the park brake was? Oh no. What's this? Something there was the park brake. What is this thing? Alt air. Yeah, okay, we want that. Alright, cool. Ryan D, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Thank you very much for stopping by. 
Alrighty, don't mind us hitting those uh, cones there. Nothing to see here. How the hell is there in it? Oh. I was like, who the hell's... Alrighty, friends. Um, so, I'm going to go to the autopilot panel here. I'm going to set my altitude. Let me see. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know. Something tells me, like, I don't have this installed properly. Because, uh... I can't manipulate any of the uh, any of the buttons here. If I click on the autopilot, like everything's working when I press it. Pedo heat will come on. That's all good. All right. Actually, we don't need flaps. Yeah, none of the calm stuff is showing up. None of the calm. One. Autopilot, I can't. I can't manipulate any of the stuff on the autopilot. I can't select like altitudes or anything. Oh wait, why is it working in game but it's not? See how it's working here? Setting altitudes in there. But it's not setting them in uh hmm, weird. I'll have to look into that. Your multiplayer doesn't work? What really? Um trim. I mean, multiplayer, we are, yeah. That is not the route, the route we're just going direct to. crash the sim uh oh we have our first sim crash we broke it oh no there we go it's back very weird all right hold on give it a second now we're here saved saved i don't know what happened to the multiplayer but hopefully everybody will come back um give me a sec though i'm just gonna try something we're saved online will come back don't worry it takes a second to resync everything that's why i said we'll hold on um need to run Oh, wait. Got 
Gonna run spad. Alright. Um, how do I see if I'm running the beta? Sorry guys, I'm just troubleshooting some stuff right now. Hold on, we'll try and rerun that. Yeah, no, I can't, uh, it's letting me manipulate things in the simulator, but it's not, it's not showcasing anything. Ah, okay, well that would be why. Okay, we'll worry about that, uh, we'll worry about that another time then. Alright, cool, sweet, let's go! What server is this on? East USA. Alrighty guys, we're obviously going to try and do VFR, so I don't know if we're going to be able to stay under the clouds here. Clouds are at 8,500. I really don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but we can obviously try our best, right? So, let's go friends. Punch it. Airspeed's alive. Rotated about 65. Good. trim wheel here. I actually really like the trim wheel. It's so smooth. So smooth on trim. Hell yeah! Take care, Mr. Baldo. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so obviously we're gonna try and uh, make a left turn here when able. We could have uh, we could have gone down this uh, this little way here. Remember, guys, we're trying to keep it VFR. So uh, I think the ceiling's at about 8,500. So if we can keep it under 8,500, that would be great. That way we can just go VFR the whole way. Bring back our mixture here a little bit. Don't need to be full rich now. No ATC with this flight? No, we're just flying. We're just flying uh, VFR. Thing is getting up above these mountains, so we are going to have to climb. We will have to get up to uh, about 8,500. I guess that's what we need to set here. Um, 8,500. How the hell do you set the altitude again? In these things? Oh yeah, it's down here. Um, let's go with like... 8,000? Think we can get above these mountains at 8,000? Probably not. You guys are all in TBMs. Have you guys ever been to Telluride before? Man, this is going to be a sweet arrival and flight through these mountains. We may need to go up to like 8,500, 9,000. I don't know what we're going to do. 
You thinking about fixing X plane? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix X plane. Maybe next week I'll go and reinstall everything. Getting a little bit off track. We need to track. Let's fly through this valley here. And then we'll make a left turn. We'll go out through that way, guys. We need to start tracking a little bit more to the, uh, to the left. How do you join? You just go on the multiplayer, man. Right, dog. What's up, dude? How are you, man? How many hours do I have on Euro Truck? Uh, like 19 or something like that. Not very many, man. Not very many. Um, okay. Let's see how Autopilot wants to behave today. Uh, we're going to go heading mode. We're going to go vertical speed. Or there, so. All right, let's turn it on. Okay, simmer down. All right. Now, let's do some maneuvers. Some maneuvering. Can actually go like go uh, bring that mixture down a little bit. East US, yep. Yeah. East US. All right, we're holding eight thousand. We're doing well. Um, we're definitely gonna have to. Yeah, we gotta start tracking left. See this mountain range here, guys. We're gonna follow this. We gotta follow this out. We gotta follow this back out this way. Um, we may end up having to climb here. I think we should be climb. I think we should climb up to eight thousand, anyways, or nine thousand. Sorry. Let's go to ninety five hundred. We'll see what that looks like. So we'll go to VS and we'll climb at uh, six hundred feet per minute. Turbulence off those mountains. Athy, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. We are doing well, sir. Flying through the mountainous terrain of Colorado. Looking pretty cool, man. Doing some GA hops between uh, Aspen and Telluride. Definitely gonna have to climb here. Eleven thousand five hundred. Because there's no way we're gonna make it out of here. Circles. Whoa. White chocolate covered pretzels are so good. Ooh, that does sound good. You know what looks good is that scenery. Damn. I think we can just make it over if we come up over here. Just gonna clear it. <laughs> talk about talk about navigating the mountain ranges, friends. Wow. Just clearing the mountains. Beautiful.
that was fun. That was cool. Navigating those valleys all the way out. Sweet. We'll bring it up to 11,500. What the hell is that? There's no way there's an actual house there. Does PE cover Colorado? It does, yeah. It does. All right, and we can go nav track. And we should. It's cloudy over there. We're almost at the at the cloud layer here. At 11,500. But we should stay under it. And we should, theoretically, at 11,500, we should be okay to cruise. We shouldn't have to worry about any mountain ranges or anything like that. It's one of the reasons why uh, we had to take, like, this plane, was we wouldn't have done it any other way. Definitely need to climb. What, what do you mean? We're good. Lots of room, friends. Why are you guys all scared? Did you think Captain Canada was going to let you down? Come on now. Look at us. Look at our gang. We're on our way. Um, hell yeah, guys. Look at all of you back there. That looks awesome. That's so cool. In Captain Canada, we trust. I am using, um... I'm not using Rex, no, so... All right. This is like, this is what it's about, man. This is crazy. Guys, if we find an airstrip along the way, I feel like we need to just land there. Right? If we see anything, if we see a strip, maybe we need to do a touch and go or something. Because, man, this is beautiful. It's absolutely awesome. Hold on, I gotta get a picture. Everybody line up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> gotta get a picture. This is perfect. Everybody get close. Everybody get as close as you can. This is awesome. This is picture perfect moment. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> this is awesome. Good stuff, guys. Take a couple here. God damn Captain it. Captain Canada, you fuzzy wuzzy red ginger bear. <laughs> you told Smitty not to do this, but he made me do it. He said that tradition dictates this as 59k is such a nice number. <laughs> oh Congratulations, my sir. Man. Smitty, coming in with the $590 donation. Jesus Christ, guys. Guys, can we please get a huge no floaties? And damn it, Schmitty's in chat. For the man, the myth, the absolute legend. Coming in with the $590 donation to put him up to $1090 on the month. Schmitty, you're absolutely insane, man. Thank you, dude. So, so, so much for the support. Huge no floaty. Schmitty, I cannot wait to get you back in this simulator, man. Get you going. Um... 
it's going to be a lot of fun. I already can see you, you know that this flying is going to be amazing for now. So, um, glad to have you back, man. Glad to have you back in the fold. More importantly, thank you, man. So, so, so much for the support. Guys, please show some love in chat for the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Schmitty. Thank you, Schmitty. Very much appreciate it. It's funny because Schmitty messaged me this morning and he showed me the subscriber count. And I even told him, I was like, don't you dare. Don't you dare crazy man thank you schmitty i appreciate you man huge no floaties dude thank you thank you my friend absolute legend absolute legend jesus man absolutely insane dude is everybody back here everybody's still back here <laughs> oh man we had one epic moment after another dude that's so cool Look at that. Amy did it. I didn't do anything, but you're most welcome. <laughs> Amy. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, dude. Yes, GOAT. GOAT. You are right. Greatest of all time. You are correct, man. The GOAT. Absolute legend, man. The plane's behind, dude. I love it. It's awesome, man. <laughs> it's awesome. We even have an Airbus somehow back there. Look at that. We got an Airbus chilling out back there, too. Hey, man. Everybody comes to play. Everybody, welcome. <laughs> How do you walk in the aircraft? Uh, arrow keys, up, down, left, right. So, like, the beautiful thing about this sim is that you can program basically anything anything to um, the way that you want it. That That's just the beauty of the sim. Is that you can program the... Uh, program any of the keys... So the beauty of it, Schmitty, and that's what I was saying, is like when we sit down and we actually get you back in it, is like we can program this simulator to basically have all the same keys that you had in X-Plane. So like the, you know, I have all my views set up the same way. You know, like I I have all my views set up the same way as I do in X-Plane. Everything's set up the same. Same keys, same everything. So, yeah, it's really cool. Man, the views. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at everybody. Yes. Amazing. That's so cool. My PC power supply just died and I had to uh, miss out on the group flying. Well, that sucks, man. Damn, dude. My apologies. That's no good. Which was an overcast. Uh, so we could see that Microsoft Flight Simulator Beauty. Well, here's the thing. Maybe um, maybe on the next... Maybe on the way back to, uh, to Aspen... We'll go in a different plane and we'll go up a little bit higher. How about that? Maybe we can jump in the caravan or something. Um, we'll go to a different plane. That A320, right? Amazing. Terrain is just gorgeous out here. Love it. Wonder when we're gonna start seeing snow. <clears throat> I guess it has to start snowing in the sim first, maybe. Do you have the A330 installed? I do not know. The caravan? Yeah, we could do the caravan. We can do the caravan. Does this thing have speed brake? Sixty nautical miles to go here, friends. Doing well. Everybody's cruising. Ooh, we could take that plane. I was thinking about that. Do you guys want to see me fly like an acrobatic plane? We want to do flips and shit. I don't think I've ever really flown one of those on stream. That could be kind of fun. Doing some flips and barrel rolls. What are you? What is that? Is that the payware plane, or is that the Mooney? The Mooney Bravo. Looks like a nice plane. I still can't get over how smooth it is. That's what I still can't get over. I can't get over how smooth the experience is. Like, this is native multiplayer. Like, we're not on a network. We're not on anything. 
can you imagine if they like implement native air traffic control? We're not going to need networks. We're not going to need VATSIM or IVAO. We'll still need Pilot Edge because it's on a different level, but you know, it's crazy, man. All in one, take care, man. It's just so smooth. It's unbelievable. DH, thanks for support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge old floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. He says, hey, Cap, first off, congrats on 59K. Also, the RTX 2060 okay for streaming while playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. 2060 should be okay if you can, if you can, try and squeeze out a 2070. A 2070 is very similar in performance to a 1080 Ti. You're obviously watching me stream with a 1080 Ti, and you can know that for the most part, we don't really have any issues. Um, so I would definitely suggest a 2070 if it's in the budget, if you can afford it. I don't know the price difference between a 2060 and a 2070, but off the top of my head, I definitely would. Guys, it's new mug, new mug day today. You guys know that we didn't get the water sponsorship, but even better, we got a mug sponsorship. So you guys know that we've got all kinds of cool mugs and stuff. So uh, if you're interested in purchasing this mug right here, this one says um, jet fuel only. And of course we've got the jet fuel symbol here on the back. Sorry, I don't want to drop it. It's filled with water. Uh, I don't want to drop it. Nice cold ice water. Um, so yeah, we've got those mugs. If you're interested in that, guys, exclamation point Amazon. Again, this is not my merch. I have partnered with a group, um, uh, Pilot Expressions, and of course, um, uh, Brody, thanks so much, man, for your support. Coming up in a business class. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Exclamation, uh, thank you so much, dude. Sorry, I was reading exclamation point Amazon for all of this fun stuff. Thank you very much for support, man. Jax as well. Thank you very much, Jack, for your support, dude. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for your support. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you. More party. I remember the days when these subscriber celebrations were a lot easier on my wallet. You deserve all of your success. No floaties. Oh man, this guy. Mopar dude, coming in with the $59 donation. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so, so much for the support, Mopar dude. Very, very much appreciated, my good sir. Guys, can we please show some love in chat for Mopar dude coming in with the $59 donation? Thank you very, very much, Mopar dude. Very much appreciated. Smitty and Mopar dude coming in with those donos today. Thank you, gentlemen. Very, very much appreciated, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for your support, man. You guys are awesome. Why can you only see 10% of you guys? Um, do you have your set to all players? Pretty cool that we're getting some snow down there. Um, do you have it set to all players? That's actual, like, uh, that's snow. That's from the simulator, guys. That's not, that's not like ortho snow. That's from the actual simulator. This community snow we have here you. is the best. Congrats. Travis, thank you so much, dude, for the support as well. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you, sir coming in with a three dollar donation thank you very, very much man i appreciate you dude very kind thank you buddy I, I could not agree any any more than that man the community is absolutely insane dude absolutely insane thank you very very much man i always thought they could add etc in live multiplayer mode they probably will i think at some point All right, I would say we're about halfway, maybe just over halfway. We're still looking fine and dandy. For those of you that have never landed in Telluride, um, first and foremost, let's try and grab the weather here. Um, hopefully it's not too shabby. The weather seems to be kind of staying pretty much normal. I think it, the overcast has gone up just a little bit more. It looks like it's actually starting to clear up over here. So it might be, uh, maybe clear. It is clear. So in Telluride, it's completely clear. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to see the transition here. You can see the, the front or the, the, the clouds. Whoa, this guy's inverted. Hell yeah, dude. going to see the checkerboard approach i mean that see that, that stuff isn't even there in real life anymore so i don't know i don't know we'd have to get somebody to make a scenery 
for it. You want the shirt that you have? Uh, don't worry, Angel. I'm, I'm working on something with the developer. Um, like I said, the the the, the Luso Aviation. So the people that own and design this shirt um, reached out to me and, and they've expressed interest in, in doing a Captain Canada themed shirt. So uh, we're definitely going to work on that, man. Yeah, for sure. I'm getting the RTX 3080 with uh, what Intel processor do you recommend for 2020? Uh, 200 to 300. I'm looking at an i5 66K. Will probably bottleneck. Yeah, man, you can't. You're you're gonna have to spend more than that, man. If you're gonna get a 3080, you got to uh, you got to look into like an i9, i9 and up, man. i7 10700K would be the cheapest I would look at. i7 10700. That would be the the lowest I would go with that. I fix it, Cap. Thanks. Mixed out on half the flight, though. No worries, man. No worries. You can always meet us and tell you ride. We're going to be doing the flight back. No worries. When I try to switch uh, the server, it's, uh, it says automatic. I think you could change that. In New York, we're going to gusts of 70 mile an hour tonight. Jesus, that's crazy, man. Alex, coming up into first class. Huge no floaties to you, Alex. Thank you very, very much for your support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. Very kind. You have a 10700? Yeah, man. Great ship. Huge show floaties to you, man. Welcome up into first class, my friend. Thank you very much for your support. Appreciate you. Do you enjoy FS2020 more than x -Plane right now? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. There's no hassle with this simulator, man. There's zero hassle. It just works. Every single time. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about libraries. I don't have to worry about anything. If I want to add a scenery, I just drag and drop. It's so easy. Congratulations on 59K. Seat back. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very much for your continued support, sir. Through these times. Very much appreciated, man. Thank you very, very much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Should travel across the USA in GA and Microsoft Flight Simulator. That'd be kind of cool. Be cool. Slowly make our way. Matt, thanks so much, dude, for the $1.31. It's been a while, Cap. Always looking forward to watching your streams. After a long week in this crazy world. Hope you are well. No floaties. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. Very kind, sir. Very, very kind. Thank you, man. Huge no floaties to all you guys coming in with the support. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Um, Telluride. What is the airport elevation here in Telluride? I know it's. I know it's very similar to Aspen. I think it's about five or six thousand feet elevation. Um, let's see what the airport info says. Airport elevation is sitting at 9,000 feet. Okay, wow. It is way higher than Aspen. 9,000 feet of elevation, friends. So, yeah, we may, we may end up having to climb here a little bit more coming into these mountain ranges. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Matthew, for your support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties as well coming with a five dollar donation thanks so much man joseph how are you dude welcome aboard uh i'll be honest i tried to make an x-wing as good as near uh, fs 2020 and x-wing i don't know it just can't come up to the amazing graphics no you're absolutely right man visually it's not even it's not even the same visually you you, you can't even compare you really can't i mean just look at what's going on right now craziness get a nice screenshot What server cap? We are on East USA. Congrats on 59k subs, Captain. I'll be passing up a few packs of Biscoff cookies shortly. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you, man. Very, very kind. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Who just went by a Mach 3? <laughs> oh, man. How many sticks of RAM do I have? Uh, yeah, I got two. Two by 16. So that if I do need to add more in the future, I can do that. If I need to add another 32 gigs, although I don't know if I will be. Guys, what do you guys think about the little, uh, this thing right here? What do you guys think about the little ads like that that are popping up? Do you guys like that? Is it small enough? Is it big enough? Do you guys want it smaller? Um, what are you guys thinking about that? Do you guys want it on the other side? Do you guys don't want it on that side? you want it on the other side? I'm open to all kinds of different... Um, stuff like that, so. 
I actually have some Biscoff cookies at home. I'll eat them when I fly. Dude, Biscoff cookies are amazing, dude. They are amazing. Uh, I love the size. just perfect where it is. Sweet. Awesome. It's good. Decent size. Cool. Cool. As long as you guys can read it, you guys, everything. I have uh, I have a bunch of cool ones. So I have one for the Honeycomb. I've got one for the Thrustmaster. And then I've got one for next level racing when we do our truck sims and stuff like that. So huge shout out to Vesley. Huge shout out to Ves. Ves is uh, turning into our little crazy, crazy graphic designer, artist guy. Um, I We basically had an idea. We brainstormed it together and he helped me put it together this morning. So spent all morning setting those up making sure everything was looking good so uh, it's perfect sweet awesome guys that's awesome uh can you guys see the thrustmaster one uh yeah i can show it real quick um the thrustmaster one looks like this there you go there's the thrustmaster one so it's got the tca side stick and then obviously the uh, wheel that we use as well that's the thrustmaster one yeah so there you go scenery does not look like that what like this depends how good your internet is man my internet's really good so we're loading quite quite far in advance ECAP needs a recommendation, so I get a Flight Factor 7.6 or an INI E300 first. INI. INI. That's right, guys. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. If you do want to join us for our leg back to Aspen, feel free, guys. We're going to be in Tex, uh, KTEX Telluride. KTEX is the, uh, is the, um, the ICAP. Where can you buy controllers, uh, that you are currently using? You can put exclamation, uh, Point honey C in chat. Pardon me, guys. Exclamation point honey C in chat will pop that open. It says automatic when I try and change servers. I believe you can change it. We're not sure. 737 800 Christmas Day uh, free wowza. Uh, I won't be hanging with my family. Why? What do you mean? Uh, my perfect GA aircraft will be the Sirius and all the diamonds merged. Interesting. Perfect G aircraft would be a Sirius. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. That'd be pretty cool. I love the Sirius, man. And I love the Diamond. So you know what? You're right. I, I agree with you with that. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. What airport is that? KMTJ. It's an airport over there. We may have to stop after we depart. Tell you ride. Do I like GA planes? Um, Yes and no. Yes and no. Am I starting to get a little bit more love for them? Yes, I think Microsoft Flight Simulator has, has made me realize that you don't always have to fly big tube liners. There, there is some fun to be had in these, in these smaller ones. Now, that being said, I'm still a fan of the business jets. I would still prefer to fly like a CJ4 or a Longitude or something like that. That's just more my style of flying. But that being said, I do enjoy these GA flights. I do enjoy these slower, scenic, more, um, you know, hey, look out the window, throw on your autopilot, just go direct. Um, I do enjoy these. I do, do, do enjoy these, yeah. Now, these mountain ranges are scaring me a little bit here. I don't think we're going to quite clear them. Um, the airport is basically sitting right basically in these. So, um, I'm just trying to look at what we can do. We may have to end up going around like this, guys. I'm just looking right here. I'm looking at the uh, at the GPS, and I'm thinking if we track this way, and then we come down like this through the valley, because there's no, I don't think we have a chance in hell of going directly over this mountain range to the airport. I think we're going to have to hang a right. I think we're going to have to follow this mountain range around here, and then the airport's going to be in behind here. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Is the longitude still broken? How was it broken? Like the, the fuel drain or the fuel burn? Are we talking about that one? There's been a couple issues with it over the over the patches. Looks like you can find your way through a valley. Yeah, we can definitely find our way through a valley for sure. Um, I don't think we we could try that way. I feel like that way may be a little bit longer. And that way kind of seems a little bit more unknown. Coming out this way seems to be seems to be the play here. I'm liking that. What do you guys think? We're coming around this way or we're going around that way? I'm thinking this way because this patch right here is what scares me. And if I'm looking, it's probably going to be 
these ranges here, which I don't think we're going to get over. Is the Bravo Throttle Quadrant available to buy in the UK? Uh, yeah, you can order it right now. I'm just not sure when it's shipping. That's the only problem. I'm honestly just not sure when it's going to be shipping. You think going left is easier? Man, I don't know. Like going through there, that's what we would be going through. That's the pass right there. I don't think we make that, man. Look at the mountains. They come right back up. Like that pass comes to an end and we'd have to go up and then over. Where I feel if we come this way, if you actually look the way that it goes, we can just continue our altitude and make it all the way in. I don't know. I'm feeling we go right. What do you guys think? I'm going to go right. I'm going to take it right by like 20 degrees, maybe 10 degrees. Come down here. We'll select heading. What do you think uh, about old Soviet jets like the TU-154? Pretty cool. I mean, I, I've never really had a, a like uh, an inkling to fly them. That's just me, but yeah. Alright, we'll fly like this here for a minute. We'll see how she does. We get to 60k today? That'd be crazy. I don't think so. Maybe. You never know. You never know. I don't... You can't pull this, right? It doesn't work. It's funny that they... <laughs> they default make a plane that comes with a simulator that has a parachute and the parachute doesn't even work. Microsoft logic, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I swear to God. Microsoft logic. What is the heading? Right now we're tracking about 230. 225, I think, is what we're going for. What is that? Oh, that's that payware plane. Or no, is that? No, that's the DA-20. Or is that the payware one? It looks like a nice plane. It's the DA-40. No, it can't be. You should be verified, Cap. You need uh, 100,000 subscribers. 100,000 subscribers before we're verified. I'm from China and I love your broadcast. Thanks so much, Shao. Appreciate you, man. Glad you're enjoying the content. Thank you very much for those kind words. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Is climbing to clear the peaks and circling the land a bad idea? Genuinely curious. I mean, yes and no, because then you got to get yourself back down, right? So once you get up there, you got to go back down. I don't even think the fuel burn... I don't even know if it's burning, but. Uh, you're going to do this next weekend? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Tomorrow I've got a cool little flight plan for us. I'm just waiting to uh, make sure that I can secure the scenery for you guys. If I can secure the scenery, all will be well. And I'll make sure that we can do it. Did you hear about the SpaceX launch tonight? Yes, I did hear about that first uh, official passenger launch, I believe. Alrighty, see guys, this was a great idea. This was just a grand idea. 
And now we need to turn left in here. So now we can start losing some altitude. Um, so let's bring our altitude down to like, I don't know, 9,500. Or wait, isn't the air airfield like 9,000 feet? Let's go 10,500. So we'll lose 1,000 feet here. 500 feet per minute. We can start tracking a little bit more to the left. Now we just need to start looking for the airport. So, it's going to be in this little valley down here. And I think... We're going to be pretty close to it. It's 9,078 according to Google. Yeah, it's really high up there. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Tell you ride. And it's on like one of these little plateaus here. I believe it's like the airport's going to be like right here somewhere. Or is it on this side? But I'm pretty sure it's on this side. I think it's going to be like right over this ridge. Yeah, it is going to be over that ridge down in there. And we can probably make a straight in. So you can actually see the ski hills. So you can see all the ski hills from here. So the airport is actually going to be like right over this ridge. Right down in here. Right close to where that airport is. Probably right here. There it is right there. So there's our airport. Sweet. So what we can do now is we'll go ahead and take off autopilot. Good. And we'll just go ahead and fly ourselves down in there, friends. There's our arrival. So that was a smart idea going around. Not killing us, right? Good idea, Cap. Alright, we'll go full mixture. And we'll bring the power back. We'll bleed off as much speed. I stand corrected. I was looking up. <laughs> I did. So we can always do a circle to land. Maybe that's what we should do. Come back in for a circle to land. What uh, what are the winds right now? Not our KTX. One three zero at eight. So we should be landing this runway. So here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll burn off some altitude up here. Again, guys, we're doing a full stop here. Full stop. So we're gonna cross. And the beauty of these GA airplanes is we can always cross back. That's what gets me, man, is just like all the trees it's drawing in. It's so pretty. Yo, Cap, trying to do my parents wrong so they cannot succeed on YouTube. I was wondering if you can help me out. Your parents are probably right, man. The chances of succeeding on YouTube are about one in a million, dude. You've got probably just as good as the chances of becoming a rock star. I mean that wholeheartedly, man. Um, I think that first and foremost, you've got the wrong idea if you think you're going to make money off YouTube. You can never go into this thinking that you're going to make money. Um, I would I would listen to your parents, unfortunately, man. <laughs> I hate to be that person. I really hate to be that person, but uh, your parents are probably right, man. Unfortunately. 
I know it sucks to hear me say that, but that's just the truth, man. Absolutely, follow your dreams, man. Of course you can follow your dreams, but I think it's also important to get yourself some education. You know, it's okay to have a YouTube channel and, 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 and continue on with your life. I think it's important that you get yourself an education, get yourself, uh, you know, something that you can fall back on. Because, um, yeah, first and foremost, never go into it thinking that you're going to make money, right? It's uh, the part of YouTube and, and the part of stuff that happens is, um, you know, it, it, it's just like one of those things that you just have to become very thankful. For. That's it. Crazy trying to go around these mountains, dude. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Set up landing flaps. Too white, too red, looking good. In that center line all the way down if you've never seen it friends this is tell you ride tell you ride Colorado bandit how are you man welcome back hope all is well to go ahead and get ourselves up there right on the marks too kept when you fly the vatsim next i'm not sure when i'll be back on vatsim to be honest with you really not sure man i'm sorry full stop guys full stop scenery looks so good this is exactly what it looks like and yes the air the run airfield is really like shaped like that it's pretty crazy Sweet. Good. There we have it. We made it. In to tell you right. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, guys. Hold on. Shit. Let me get a picture of this. Everybody smile. Smile. Everybody smile. Good job, guys. <laughs> nice. Good job, guys. It's too funny. <laughs> it's the busiest tell you rides ever been. Sweet. All right, cool. Very good. All right, friends. Uh, I'm going to throw it to the. Well, here, we'll do a proper shutdown here, all right?
continue, please. Thank you. All right, sweet. There we have it, my amigos. We made it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get in a different airplane. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see the caravan? I know there was a lot of people screaming for the caravan. So maybe we'll fly in the caravan. Um, so that's what we'll do. I'll throw it to the Be Right Back screen here, friends. I'm just going to reload uh, the sim. It always works better once I reload it. Uh, what did we get? We got a 75 feet per minute on our landing rate. 75 feet per minute. So that was a good one. Um... Sweet. All right. I'll go ahead and get everything set up here for the second uh, leg for the way back to um, Aspen. And then once we get to Aspen, we'll probably do some some circuits doing some stuff there. So um, give me about five or ten minutes here, guys, as I reset up the simulator. And I'll see you guys in uh, yeah, about five or ten minutes. Thanks, guys.
Hello friends, welcome back. I'm going to be stretching this flight. But we're here. I got this bad boy started up. Sweet. You guys ready to do the return flight? Got this bad boy up and running. Uh, what are my switches? Do these work? Nav. Beacon. Strobe. Taxi. Landing. Good. All right. Sweet. Everything looks good. Um, altitude select. Pilot Eric, thanks so much, man. Says, what up, dude? Love your videos. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate you, man. That's very, very kind. Thank you very, very much for those kind words, my good sir. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, so coming into Aspen, I know that we need to be at like 13,500 feet. We need that altitude coming into Aspen. So that's what we're going to aim for. We're going to aim for 13,500 feet. Hopefully, we're not up in the soup. We're going to go to vertical speed. We're going to climb at 1,000 feet per minute initially. Wonderful. All is looking good there. We're going to come down here. We're going to go to our FMS. We're going to go direct to, and we're going to put in um, Aspen. So it's going to be Case. Aspen, enter, activate, good, sweet, cool, left, right, up, down, cool, All right, sweet. Um, go ahead and um, all right so we've got that um, we're just gonna leave our prop all the way up oh shit I don't have uh, killed on I don't have views set up
me through here or no? Do you still block that out? You can't get through? Well, I guess they have. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, cool. Sweet. Alright guys, tax ourselves over to runway 15 for departure. Miss this turn off? I guess we missed this turn off earlier. Is it just me or the frame suck in this airplane? Alright guys, we gotta go all the way down here. We gotta do it properly. Alrighty, friends. We ready? Let's go. Takeoff power set. Here, speed's alive. Sixty five knots. Rotate. Positive rate. Good climb. Alright. I think we want to, we'll go out to the right, guys. We'll gain some altitude. 
we'll keep going out to the right. We'll get some altitude here. Or you know what? We could probably get up above that. Let's try and go straight. Sure, why not? Let's have some fun. Let's put these tur turbo props to good use. See if she'll climb. Use our trip wheel here. Mixture back here a little bit. All right, we want heading autopilot. man that is a risky shot out there your plane wouldn't take off what do you mean too late to turn back now? Oh yeah, we gotta go for it now. As long as our throttle's not in the red. We're close, but we're not quite in the red. ITT's pretty hot, though. It's okay. Nobody pay attention. We just need to make sure... I think we've cleared it. Yeah, we're good. Pretty sure we've cleared it. We're good at 90 knots on the climb out as well. Nothing wrong with that. How could you join Cap? Just on regular multiplayer. So regular Microsoft Flight Simulator multiplayer. Sweet, what's up man? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Jeremiah, how are you man? Welcome, welcome. We don't need landing gear anyways, right? Look at that. 13,500 feet and we're clearing those mountains. That makes me happy. Alright, except now we're way off course. <laughs> so now we need to turn left. 90 degrees. So good, man. I just never mind the 787 crashing. Nothing to see here. See, that was epic. That's what these, uh, that's what these bush, these bush flights need. That was crazy. Climb out just getting over that mountain. FedEx Express. Oh, baby. We are definitely going to be doing some cargo runs in this bad boy. We need to go do the milk run in this thing. Woohoo! That would be dope. Alright. Let's, uh... Probably aim for like, I don't know, 1600. 
1650 cruise something like that <laughs> nice what's up dude Which airport? We just took off from Telluride, KTEX. And we are going over to Aspen, which is Case. And once we get to Aspen, we're going to jump in a um, an acrobatic plane. We're going to do some acrobats. Absolutely, Schmitty. Yep. How the times have changed, eh? Now, everybody's just... We welcome it. We welcome it now. What's the server? USA East. Congrats on 59k. Love watching your streams. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, Blockbuster. Appreciate you, mate. <laughs> the island adventure. <laughs> oh, Schmitty. We need to go back and have another island adventure very soon, actually. We're going to go and do that. Where am I right now? Uh, Lake City. Lake City, Colorado. Lake City is right there. Somewhere over there. Right here. Trucking here, not uh, not yet. We'll be doing uh, we'll be doing some trucking again this week. Forget which is which. Uh, I forget the A320 looks like an A320. Go to Aspen. We are. We are. We are. SP, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we open this? Pick up all the vids are awesome. Thanks so much, Ian. Appreciate you, man. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Thank you, thank you.
Probably not spending any word on the honeycomb throttle. Um, I honestly don't know. I know that they are, they're in, like, the production is done, so they're, they're being shipped. But they're being shipped in order of, of who ordered them first. So, yeah. Jaheem, how are you, my friend? Welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well. Justin Roy, thanks so much for your support, man. I appreciate you as well, dude. Coming in with the support. Huge no floaties, my friend. Thank you, thank you. That was very, very kind. Appreciate you, man. I'll let Amy read that one out. Thank you, man. This is my first group flight with you. Thanks, Thanks for having us and keep up the good work. We appreciate the time and effort you put into your content. Thank you, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Really, really do appreciate that. Thank you very, very much for those kind words. Very, very much appreciate that. Thank you, man. watching today and hoping to get fs 2020 in the uh new year how much is the total investment uh if you need like um yoke and uh and throttle or joystick and stuff i mean it's going to be a couple hundred dollars but um i mean it's totally worth it in my opinion totally totally worth it um still with the bursting berry no i am on uh i even forget what this is called um grapple grape apple grapple and I'm down to three milligrams so there's barely anything left in it I'm gonna be hopefully 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 done soon hopefully somebody's crashing down there on the ground hope you're okay you got thanks for the streams of Mori thanks so much for stopping by man I appreciate you dude thank you thank you very kind man thank you You work for FedEx? Very cool. Very cool. Done vaping all together? Yeah, most likely. Hopefully soon. 787 was you. You stalled? Uh-oh. Did we go way through our thing? We did. Ooh, sorry guys. We're gonna have to turn all the way back here. I'm gonna go back on my GPS line. Apologies. Flying all over the place. Hey man, how are you? Hope you have a great day. Thank you, Salim. Appreciate that, man. Uh, what vape do I use? It is the uh, Vaporesso Degree. SpaceX so launched today at 4.27 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool, man.
That is not the routing today, guys. We're just going direct. Direct to direct. So I guess two seconds. Just working with the developer on this cool little um, autopilot panel thing that we're going to be showcasing to you guys soon. I covered a few months ago. Uh, I've had a common cold uh, that was worth, to be honest. I mean, I think it affects everybody differently, right? That's that's what's so worrying about it, is I think it just affects everybody differently. Exterior view? Sure. Excited about the tallest 340? Yes, absolutely, of course. Seven eighty seven does not like going slow. Yeah, no, definitely does not. Definitely does not. Hey, Cap, just joined. Um, how are you, my friend? Doing well, Michael. How are you, man? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Uh, we're about to get into some more mountainous terrain here coming up, friends. You guys ready? You're going to fly the A330 300 by Canada Mod? Most likely, yeah. Where do you see what server you're on in the game? Uh, in the main menu, when you click at the top right, it should show you. Like, when you click on your name, it should show you in there. There's one big plane to blend in. Yes, it is. It's pretty good, though. Can't you crash a plane into other planes? No. Can you fly together in one cockpit? No, not yet. 
Unless somebody's made a mod. Somebody said they made a mod, but I don't know how well it works, but... I believe that Microsoft Flight Simulator is working on that. I think they're working on... Native support. How cool would that be, though? Native simulator support. That would be pretty... Pretty damn cool. Hello, okay, I'm just tuning in, having a burger right now. How are you? I'm doing well, KK. We stop well, man. KX Ricardo. Is this real? We're all just flying together? Okay. Um, which is probably good right now. What's that, Thorgrim? Oh, you're talking to Daniel. Sativa or Indica? I like uh, hybrids, to be honest with you. I like a nice balance between both. Usually lean towards more towards Indica. But. Chopping on a weed sandwich. Ooh. I don't know if that would be good. All right. Now, usually you want to try and aim yourself to fly out to the red table VOR, and then you can come back into Aspen like this. So we can look at doing that. Thirteen five, I think we're okay. I'm not quite sure. That mountain range doesn't look like we'll be okay at thirteen five. So um, let's take the time now to step up. We'll go to fifteen thousand five hundred. Step up two thousand feet. RPM. Twenty-three hundred RPM. So to make sure we clear those mountains. Or we're going to be in trouble. Uh, does this have auto throttle? No, it does not. Should I choose live players or all players? Use all players if you want to see everybody. All players. Cap, my dream is that I was become an Air Force pilot and a commercial pilot and stream flight sims like you. That'd be awesome, right? Awesome. Very, very cool, man. Uh, was that a 787? It was. Do I watch F1? I do not. No. Have you made a setup tour? Uh, I have some pictures up on my Instagram. Um, 
Muhammad, what's up? How are you, my friend? Oh, you got him now, Schmitty. There we go. <laughs> now we got him. <laughs> uh, what state are you flying in right now? Colorado. AK, I've got to say, I've been following you for a while now. And when I see your channel is growing up, congratulations on behalf of the pilots in the UK. Love your content. Keep it going, man. Thank you, Leighton. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for those kind words. Very, very cool. Glad you're enjoying the content. I've actually got a really cool, really cool flight planned for tomorrow. Uh, knock on wood. Fingers crossed that uh, they send me the scenery in time for our stream tomorrow. That would be really, really cool. Speaking of which, let me check my phone. See if I got an email. Maybe they've already sent it. Not yet. So we'll hopefully wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we'll probably get it. Uh, somebody just crashed into a mountain. Not too surprising, to be honest with you. It is fairly high altitude. All right, so there we go. So we're looking good. Now we can pull back our power here. We're at 15.5. And at 15.5, I think we'll be okay. We may end up going into some cloud. But that's okay. Uh, we've got all our pedos on. flying around here man it's so nice I have no patient people uh, done test it too much a lot of those a lot of those please circle the land in Aspen you want me to come in on the other runway we can do that sure yeah nice a FedEx 7-4 look at that bad boy whoo Happen to the prop lever? I have it. Um, just not using it for this flight. What plane will we be in tomorrow? Uh, probably the CJ4. The CJ4. Captain, when will we be back in X plane? Um, no. Not sure. I'm sorry. Not quite sure yet. getting real close. Was this the valley that we climbed out of? This may even be the valley that we climbed out of here. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Alright, let's bring our altitude down to 14,500. Oh, it's going to get bumpy for sure. Absolutely will. Waiting for someone to start following you in an Emirates 320, bro. Maybe. 747 sensitive controls. Uh, so hard to fly. Eh. I think with all the airplanes, you just have to be very, very gentle. That's it. Three dev, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Active runway is 3-3. Three, three. Well, there you go. I was watching your video from two years ago. Uh, you're landing a tight talk for your 10K special, and it was... Uh, man, your streams have come a long way. Congrats, man. Keep it up. Thank you, Ozzy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very, very much for the kind words. Adjust our controller. Uh, joystick access sensitivity to make it less sensitive. Yeah, it's very true as well, yeah. What is my airspeed? I don't know. We're going like 130 knots. 145. It's 
It's gonna get real windy here. We can also really start descending now. We're gonna wanna be at like 10,500. Good. Of course we don't have to obey the tower, do we? Not really. What is the Metar? There's no winds, so it really doesn't matter which runway we land at. Literally, the winds are calm. Man, this looks gorgeous, though. Look at that, dude. Wow. I didn't have to generate any of this. No ortho generation, no nothing. Stunning. Wowzers. Beautiful. Let's do a low pass and then around circle to land. Okay. No problemo. The airport's right there. So here, how about I take control? We'll go autopilot off. Parka, thanks so much for the dollar donation, man. Appreciate you, my friend. Huge shell floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel. You're very kind. Thank you, thank you. All right, so usually we would come in this way, we would come in and we would land. So that's what we'll do. <coughs> Pardon me. Do you know why they're delaying the throttles? I was supposed to get mine to start of this month, and now they're saying get it around Christmas time. I think there was a delay. There was a delay in, um... A delay in the manufacturing, unfortunately. And there's also been a crazy heavy demand, yeah, as well. Eden, thanks so much for your support. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. full mixture and you guys said you want to do a flyby and then a circle to land Field will break off and then do a circle to land, all right? All right, we'll hold it five hundred feet. back in all right 
There's midfield. Weird. Weird glitch, no worries. MV, thanks for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. We'll go fly around this mountain right here. Right in front of it. We'll fly right towards it. Right, we're holding 500 feet. We'll hold it, hold it. Once we get to this mountain, we'll do a right turn down and in. Start bringing our power back. All right, ready? Right turn. And hold it. You gotta hold it. Get flaps one out. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Landing flaps. Yeah, the, the distractions were a little bit much, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Did a couple double takes. All right, sweet. We're going to go in the acrobatic plane next. The weather is beautiful here, though. What did we get on our landing rate there? A 56. How to get the ETA to show? It's Sim Toolkit Pro. I think these trucks are to scale. Maybe they are. Maxim, thanks so much for support, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaty. Says they just legalized recreational use of marijuana. Smoked in the cup for the first time in about five years before I played Russian roulette. Uh, with the mountain sim looked so good. Uh, we need to get some better simulated airliners, though. Congrats on your sub count. Thanks, Maxim. Appreciate it, my friend. Glad you're enjoying. Uh, glad you're enjoying your recreational fun, man. Thanks for your support, dude. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool, sweet. Let's go to our main menu. We're just gonna jump in a different airplane. We'll be right back, guys. For everybody that was in the sim.
They work on the MFS mods website. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. Wait, do we, what is this uh, landing challenge? Can we do this? Hold on, let's try this. Uh, I'll just cancel that. Let's try this, hold on. I wanna do this landing challenge. Just join this Jackson Hole. Why won't you let me? Gear down and everything. Yeah, gears down. Okay. Flops are full. Yeah, flops are full. I'll be right back, guys. I just wanted to try this landing challenge. Looks like a madman. Smooth as hell, but not even top ten. Let's get back to the main menu. I just wanted to do that once. Um, all right, let's go in the, what do I want to go in? SDC. All right, my friend Owen. What's up, dude? How are you, man? Thanks so my much, scenery dude. isn't half as good as yours. Do you think it could be because I'm using a 2070 Super? No. No, not at all. Um, what do you have your download set to your bit rates and stuff? Because the scenery... That's weird that the scenery doesn't... Like, what are you running it on? What are you running your settings on? Everything's... Mine's pretty much high-end. Landing Precision 1, is that what they gave us? It was a great Kjak scenery, uh, if anyone was interested. Yeah, Owen, probably. Oh boy. Did the engine just stop? Hello? Why'd the engine just stop?
All right, let's do this. I don't even know what I'm doing. How the hell do they see? Oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. What? There's no way, dude. There's no way this is how they fly these airplanes. thing can't do flips I guess <laughs> okay um, I, I didn't know that that thing was gonna be so damn intense to even see but uh, yeah use the extra it's better and you can see yeah that's that's kind of what I was hoping for um, that thing is weird as all hell dude like what the hell is that where's the extra uh, there it is that's what we want okay back to Aspen um, I guess you can't do flips with that one, or what? <laughs> Didn't like that, did it, friends? Didn't like that one. Nice landing, bruh. Thank you. How does my flight sim load so fast? I have it on an M.2. A dedicated M.2, so there's nothing else installed on the M.2, just Microsoft Flight Sim. It has its own hard drive. Oh, look at this thing. Hell yeah, dude. We're not going to have any weather because we loaded back in the menu, but that's fine. stupid camera bug going on right now where all my views are messed up
heart break? What is this? That's heat. Why? Anybody know <laughs> where the park break is? That has to be the park break. Come on. That's clearly not the park break. the fuel selector okay that's the fuel selector is there like a whole front side to this control num delete weird man it. Well, we got it. Jeez. So much for flying planes you've never flown before. is this the guys what is it again the extra I think it is it's a loud loud airplane I can tell you that we can do cool stuff like this in it that's why we like it
assume it's going to crash because they changed the weather. Maybe. Nope. Okay. I like that it's not crashing. I like that it's like it's taking some time to figure itself out, but it's not crashing. Which is good. No flaps in the extra, yeah, that's what I was just testing. What's the stall speed of this thing? Guess we can test it right now. Fun little plane. Like you can hear the plane creaking in all the turns. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool indeed. Can we get it? Oh shit. <laughs> that was real close. That was real close, friends.
scratch the tail? I don't think so. Might have been real close, but... Alrighty, friends, take this bad boy in here. Go to another loop, burn off some speed. Or a little vomit dropping on the back of your chair. <laughs> I'm just having some fun. Could you imagine doing this in a real plane, though? Like, could you imagine being up there? I have one of one of my buddies. Uh, he became a pilot, and this is what he does, Schmitty. He's uh, he's an acrobatic pilot. He's an acrobatic teacher, actually. He trains. He teaches people to do this, and I'm like, dude, I you could not pay me to do that every day. No way, dude. You get, obviously, you get used to it, but still. Oof. Alrighty, friends. Let's put this down. Let's call this a wrap for our wonderful 39, or sorry, 59K sub celebration. Of course, doing our flight from Telluride over to, sorry, Aspen to Telluride, and then Telluride back to Aspen, and then having some fun here in a couple airplanes. In Aspen. I love this airport. Such a fun little fun little airport, that's for sure. Alright, hopefully we don't break the landing gear here, putting her down. Right on the numbers. A little bit of hop and skip for you guys. Call it an afternoon. Coming in way too fast. Bleed it off. Bleed it off. Bleed it off. Bleed it off. There we go. Smooth as she can be. Remember, it's a tail dragger. Can't slam on the brakes. Otherwise, you'll kill us. Oh, we're not making that turn. No siree Bob. <laughs> Let's just come to a come to a nice float. That yeah, was an epic float. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh you've learned how to breathe because of the G's you pulled some tricks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the craziness, man. It's wild. Anyways, friends! Everybody come in here for the picture. Everybody, everybody try and get over here as quick as you can while we play the outro music. Everybody try and jump in here as quickly as you can. Get in behind me as we wrap up the afternoon of flying here online. So, so, so much fun. Everybody, thank you all for coming to hang out this afternoon. Oh, Jesus, he's doing flips and tricks and stuff already. You guys are absolutely awesome, man. Mods, donators, sponsors, thank you all so, so, so much for everything that you do for the channel. For everybody, I really hope you guys did enjoy this community GA multiplayer fly-in. I know there's been a lot of people asking for this. So I think it's important to get to this, even though this isn't my usual flying. It's still always a lot of fun. Guys, can we get some huge no floaties and damage schmitties? 
to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Schmitty, coming in with that epic donation today. Schmitty, thank you, man. So, so, so much for your support. You are very, very kind, my good sir. As well as Mopar Dude coming in with the support. And to everybody else who donated to the stream, thank you all so, so, so much for your support today. You guys are absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, the next live stream is going to be tomorrow afternoon, noon Eastern time. Remember, that is a new start, Schmitty. I don't know if you're used to that. So when we're in the UK, Schmitty, we start two hours earlier so that we can appease more of the UK crowd. So tomorrow's live stream will be at noon Eastern, uh, which I believe, Schmitty, for you will be 9 a.m. Uh, for everybody on the West Coast. Um, guys, thank you all so, so, so much for support. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this multiplayer fly-in. Everybody, there was a lot more people earlier. I know a lot of people have already left. We've been live for over two and a half hours now. So thank you guys for coming to fly these JA planes with me. Hope you enjoyed this fun little group of flights. Aspen to tell you ride. It's such a great little flight. We will definitely do this again. I think maybe one day what we'll do is we'll do it on Pilot Edge. That way we can actually really test our, our flying skills. So thank you guys for coming to hang out. Appreciate you guys. Everybody, have yourselves a wonderful Sunday evening, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for, if if it all goes to plan, a very fun and a very cool stream, and I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday evening. Take care, friends. Peace!